Hello and welcome to part 20, chapter 21 of the Fire Emblem Engage Maddening Female Only Run. Um, in between episodes we have done, I want to say five or six paralogs. So, you know, levels are higher, bonds are stronger. Um, this is a pretty long chapter from what I recall of it. Um, not an easy one. And uh, I think it's a back-to-back -back one as well, so and there's a lot of story too, so I may have to split this one up into two parts, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, sit back and enjoy. Our ship is docked here. Thank you for escorting us. Mavier! All ready, like you asked. Feel free to tell me how great I am. Wait a minute. What's the Divine Dragon doing here? Marnie? What do you want? We don't have any more rings. There are circumstances that require we travel together to Lethos. Huh? Divine Dragon. After Marnie and I lost the rings, Zephyr disciplined us to an unjust extreme. So, on my honor, I will not betray you once at sea. I will deliver you safely to Lethos. Will you trust me? I will. Take us to Lethos. What? Why would you help them? They're not our friends, they're enemies! The Divine Dragon should meet with Lady Vale. We have no reason to fight as long as you don't start trouble. I know a threat about not threatening people when I hear one. Mavir, what's happening? You will hear details once we are aboard. If that is unsatisfactory, then you may remain here. Hey! What? Fine, fine. Okay, temporary truce until I get back to Zephia and the others in Lethos. So be it. Let us go, Divine Dragon. Okay. You're Lord Sombron's child? What? <laughs> yes. So that means you're the sibling Lady Vale has been looking for all along? And that's why we're headed to Lethos. Hang on, does Gris know about this? He's the one who told me. Gris picked a fight at Illusia Castle to verify the truth, even surrendering a ring to do so. What? Nobody told me that was the plan! Why are Sombron and Vale going to Lethos? It's about Gradlon, the fell dragon's land lost under the sea. He intends to restore it. To restore that unholy land? My word. What more do you know about this, Vander? Gradlon sank beneath the waves 1,000 years ago. It was, of course, Sombron's land. Gradlon was a wicked place, one as much as Lethos is holy. To raise and revive it, Sombron needs to destroy the Divine Dragon Shard in Lethos. That shard is what chains Gradlon beneath the waves. Lord Sombron finds it... problematic. So you're saying that Sombron's greatest desire is to restore Gradlon? Far from it. His desire, if such a word is fitting for Lord Sombron, is to invade other worlds. Other worlds? The continent of Elios is only a stepping stone. He plans to extend himself everywhere. There are other worlds and he wants to rule them all. How is that even possible? I'm well beyond what I know for certain. Lord Sombron has shared little of this with me. I can say, Lady Vale is a pawn in service of his greater ambitions. Please tell me anything more you know. I've heard that Vale's called a defect. What does that even mean? Well, as a start, Dragon Royalty should be able to summon emblems. She cannot. Lord Sombron learned this recently, soon after his revival when reunited with Lady Vale. His children all fought in the war, but she, his youngest, never saw battle. Or any emblems. She told me we met once, all that time ago. You were among her many siblings. They all, in time, 
died fighting in the war. All save for you. Uh. Then Sombron was imprisoned, and Lady Vale's mother died, leaving her alone. She could find no friends in an age when it was rumored a last fell dragon child had survived. Lady Vale lived in hiding, knowing that were she discovered, she would be killed. A thousand years living like that. All alone that whole time? Not exactly. A few centuries ago, she came into contact with worshippers of the Fell Dragon. In their care, she slept in a hidden temple until Lord Sombron's release. She had been, long ago, close with those in that temple. But when she recently awoke... They were all dead, weren't they? So Lady Vale was relieved, even overjoyed, to find herself reunited with Lord Sombron. He detested her, and proclaimed her a defect, lacking a fell dragon's abilities and character. Sombron required her obedience, however, so he ordered Zephia to tamper with her nature. Lady Vale may have thought she was no longer alone, but she's never been more so. Ever. How awful. <laughs> what is it, Marnie? Is it the waves? Are you seasick? No! I'm trying not to cry! But who never knew Lady Vale's life was so sad? I thought I was the one with the tragic story. I should have maybe been nicer to her. Probably. You have never told me of your past, Marnie. Uh, I mean, you know, happens all the time. I was just abandoned by my mom, that's all. I had a lot, a lot of brothers, and she decided she didn't need a girl. Which is weird, since I was way superior to those useless jerks, even back then. I mean, I was better at helping her, but she never said thank you, or good job, or anything. The first time we went for a walk, just us, so she could find somewhere to dump me. Imagine, my hand in hers, and we're strolling from place to place. She left me at a church. I can't believe it. It's fine. The priest was nice. As long as I helped free Lord Sombron, I got lots of thank yous. Eventually, I met Zephia and joined the Hounds. See? Lady Vale's story is so much sadder. Zephia filled out the four Hounds with devout followers of the Fell Dragon. Did that include you, Mavier? Yes. I was there at the hidden temple where Lady Vale slept. When she awoke, I was there to speak with her. She, a royal dragon, asked me to be her friend. I said it was impossible. Lady Vale then asked if I could offer my service to her as a knight. And you accepted? That I could not refuse. It's a big deal to be handpicked like that by royalty. Who would have thought? You made her knight? That's just cool. I mean that, Mavier. That's really cool. Should you wish, I am sure Lady Vale would also accept you as her knight. What? No way. I don't want to work with you that much. No praise, no thank yous. I hate you. Is that so? Besides, I already belong somewhere. I need to get back to Zephia. Since you're helping the Divine Dragon, you're probably going to get kicked out of the Hounds. I expect as much. Yeah, well, I like being one of the Four Hounds. As soon as we're off this boat, we're enemies. You do hate me, after all. So, surely, you'll be happier. Right. So... Yes. I'm done talking. This is a waste of my time. Mavir, thank you for telling us all of that. When we find Vale, I hope you will do what you think is best for her. Even if that means we'll cross blades again. I shall. What's happened to Lethos? The land, it's fallen to rot and ruin. A sure sign of Gradlon's return, or that our foes are now destroying the Divine Dragon Shard. We have to stop Sombron. Where is the Shard? It's in the castle. Queen Lumera's home. Who would have thought we'd return here to see everything... come to this?
I know you're here, Sombron! Show yourself! Ah, the Divine Dragon has arrived. Or should I call you the Divine Imposter? <sighs> You've arrived earlier than expected. How did you know where to find us? My other two children haven't even caught up to us yet. I assume you mean us. Why are you with them? You two brought them here? And betrayed us? Unbelievable. Please, no! You have it wrong! Wrong? <laughs> Looks pretty clear to me. This is my doing. I want Lady Vale to meet with the Divine Dragon. I might have even forced them to come, but it wasn't necessary. Marnie had no part in this. Mavier. Return to the Hounds, Marnie. But, but... Do not hesitate. Go now. Marnie, welcome back. But Mavier, what will we do with you? I'm willing to forgive and forget if you can explain yourself. We are family, after all. What nonsense. I know you're going to punish me, but Lady Vale will see the Divine Dragon. You rude, self-serving. I don't mind. I was just thinking I'd like to talk to the Divine Dragon myself. Vale? What's happened to you? <laughs> it's good to see you again. What did you do to Lady Vale? I told you about Lord Sombron's enchanted helmet. My spell has now truly taken hold. Vale, do you know who I am? Why, you're my dear long-lost sister. What a happy reunion. <sighs> what the... This is what you've been trying to do to her? And the other Lady Vale return? No, never. Not as long as that helmet remains attached and intact. That other side of her is dead. D dead Oh, please, you should be delighted. You don't have to talk to the defect anymore. Zephia, I know about Vale's past. Do you? You were alive way back then. What? I mean, I didn't know. When I helped you with all of these awful things, Lady Vale was all alone for so long. And she was so excited to see her family again. She never got to enjoy it. Now she never will. It's all so terrible. What is this, Marnie? Zephia, I loved it when you gave me praise. I loved it when you said we were family. I loved belonging somewhere. I loved the four hounds. But this has gone too far. I have to do what I know is right. Praise or no praise. Marnie? I'm going to free Lady Vale. I'm going to break that helmet to pieces! No! Stop! <laughs> Marnie, that was simply pathetic. An attack like that couldn't put a scratch on Father's gift. I swung with all my strength, and it did nothing? I take it you were trying to free me, fool that you are? But as it turns out, you have failed in your attempt. Oh... I ordered you to stop, did I not? Uh, Such a bad girl. <laughs> you are a very naughty child. If only you had done as I had said. strong enough. If she's ever her old self again, please. 
you tell her something for me? Please tell her that she's done so well. Don't go. Please. Marnie! <laughs> oh, did she die in your arms? How very tragic. What a waste. Got killed for nothing. to restore Vale, and all this for that. I will never stand by you again, Zephia, save for the moment my blade pierces your heart. Divine Dragon, I beg of you, allow me to fight at your side, to avenge Marnie, and to save Lady Vale. Mavir, of course. So you're just going to betray me? Leave me sad and lonely again? And you, sister? I thought you'd be happy to be reunited with me after... so long. You are not our veil. This must be about my new look. Then you're not going to like this look either. Marth! His fellow emblems stolen away? You turned your back on him. Oh, lonely thing. Just like me. But I'm here for you, little emblem. I'm all you need. Now, had I known I had a sibling who survived the years, I would have killed you. I'd like to make sure I'm my father's one and only child. You want to be alone forever? Yes, that's right. I have no need for this sort of family or friendships or bonds of loyalty. I do appreciate you bringing the rings to me, but that's where our relationship ends. Now, goodbye, sister. Vale. All right. A lot going down there. Uh, the main important part is that um, Marvia has joined the team. Uh, if this wasn't a female-only run, I probably actually would use him. He's decent. Uh, he's a good fill-in for the extra slot um, if you are playing a normal run through. If the late units are often pretty good because they're ready to go. Um, but uh, in this case, we can use him in this chapter, but this is the only one. So, um, <clears throat> the plan here is to really go for, uh, Fram bonded shields on Ivy and Alir. Uh, Panette I may use to actually take out this dragon. Um... And there's another one down here to deal with too. Um, yeah, aside from that, I think the rest all looks good. Obviously the dragon's a concern, there's no doubt, but... I think the re- oh no, sorry, we need you up there. I'll put you over here as well, just in case I need some help from you with that dragon. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, let's go with this. Yeah. Divine One, I am with you from this day forward. So, as you can see, there's a lot going on. It doesn't look too bad, but I think there's endless reinforcements. Verily, 
Uh, sadly, you don't kill unless you get a crit. I'm tempted to risk it. Who can come at me here? Yeah, just you. Here I go. I think I'm gonna go for it. Sixty-four percent. Odds are in my favor. I don't nice. nice. I'm sorry you had to see that. Okay. Ah, uh, bonded shield time. No mistakes. Okay, we're gonna go here, and then Alia can take that spot. We are absolutely going to engage. This first turn's pretty big, actually. Um, I suppose you could get there. It doesn't make too much of a difference. What's coming down? Oh, that's here. Wow. Okay. Not even do that. Whatever you say. And we'll engage. With pride. Can't be broken, huh? That's fine. It should be twenty one, twenty five. Okay, so yeah. Do you get double for that? My will is firm. You're slow. Four aim. If we go to this, it's two. Sure. Yes. actually a pretty important kill here, so I wouldn't mind getting it. It's tea time. That works. Now is there a world I can kill this? Bad. Seventy percent times two. 
Sadly, I can't kill anyone yet, though. That'd be cool you one. I'm gonna go for it, I think. You're going down. Dodge it. Dodge it. Nah. It's still worth it. We have we have healers. Leaving them all on one. <laughs> Don't think so. Unforgivable. This music's so dramatic. Stay back. All flowers eventually wilt. That's a big first turn. <laughs> um, so let's put some feelers out for these ones. Just so we know our range, what we're working with here. Uh, I think that's one of these has an entrap. Yeah, there. Nah. That's scary. Uh, so we don't have a ton of room here. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of tempted to just keep what we've got going here. Um, okay, definitely this can Seems fine. I had to stop you. That backup actually cost me some help, but you can't really complain too much about that. Yeah, that doesn't kill. Come on, Gold Mary. Over here! Way to shine. on that kill, sadly. Perfect. 
Ignis activates a lot. Is it on Dexterity? Dexterity, and what is your Dexterity? 12. Man, that happens way more than 12%. Take out Excalibur, I think. Oh, okay, we can get this. Battle. Perfectly. Okay. No, uh, your speed's 26. Are you guys quick? 29, 29. That's not going to double me, I don't think. You're 29, too, hopefully. 29, 29, yep. Okay. Uh, let's get They're you strong. healed up. This is how Lucina's emblem breaks the game. And Micaiah's does too. There's strategies to warp shenanigans with Micaiah, but I like to I like to show off the level and try and try and play it as intended. Yeah, so here the the uh, reinforcements are starting. I'm prepared. Not overly concerned. Oh, there is an archer there though. Okay, there aren't too many uh, enemies that Lapis doesn't double, but I guess we've just found some of them. Okay, so that's where we want you to end up. That works. making most of these bonded shield turns. That just for the healing mainly. Anyone could have gotten that kill. Um, uh, I want you to face them. There's also these ones up here. I won't worry. Oh, well, that seems a bit more up. Why not? Definitely the B team going up the top. <laughs> Whatever, 
think phase phase four here can probably deal with this. Ah, <sighs> Lapis. I'm sad you can't go in that bonded shield range. This arch is gonna die here. Yeah. Might be some more reinforcements. Yeah. That's fine. We do have more bonded shield turns. Ah, oh, just not there. I might get the. Do you both have silver? Do you both have silver? Oh, this one's actually got. Okay. Interesting. So this one's a little... I'm actually not engaged here. Let's just make sure of this kill. Nice one. It's just so good in this game, you get to have it corrupted your face. So that didn't actually achieve a whole lot doing that fire, but it's whatever. You're just here. <laughs> Summary, I think Fran has saved Ivy like seven times, maybe more. Ooh, even more. 
more, eh? Yeah, see, it just never, it never really ends. <laughs> That's gotta kill. Do. Here. Okay, this might be a dance turn. To a oh no, you are my violet. Oh, okay. Let's not do that then. I did not realize you were my violet. <laughs> No 
Okay. It's okay, even though it actually may not be. Oh, I don't even have a sword. Oh, yes, I do. Just in case they want to attack me. Unlikely, but we can hope. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. Stand up for that gaming there. I'm pretty tough, you know. Sorry, not Lin. I have a shoot in that experience. Oh my goodness, these dodges! Wow! That's crazy. You only killed one? If I had a dancer, I'd have a full engage meter this turn. For the divine dragon. Hopefully she does now. She might be one short. Yeah, one short. Okay, that's fine. It's very easy to get. some more reinforcements but for now we have a little bit of a little bit of calm before the storm. Okay. 
probably want to keep you. I, I feel like there's going to be more coming. Right? That's it. This is a lot easier than I remember. Admittedly, we did abuse Lens emblem a little bit. Hmm. It's still pretty easy to deal with, I think. doing Lapis things. Hmm. Okay, so there is going to be one here. Unless we get a crit. Got your back! Fall! Almost! Fall! Close. There's a couple I would be able to do it to. Uh, I mean, we can freeze them in place. That's probably step one. And then let's deal with them how we want to deal with them. Endure. I think that's kind of it. I'd like 
to go over here. chance we have to come back here for whatever reason. We'll get the ones in the back. You got it. Okay, now yeah, this is where the fight starts. Next turn, or oh, maybe two turns. One turn early, so let's just back off for one turn. Oh, you can't. Ah, yes, you can. Yes. 
two hounds or four, doesn't matter to me. I'll fight, and that's that. Allow me! I can help! Isn't this your lucky day? All flowers eventually hurt. Huge saline. gained health from that battle. Very good. Over here is just the dragon. I think it's going to do a lot more, isn't it? So it's a point to the dragon. And it's at the COI thing. 42. Who wants to take 42 health? I mean, avoid wires? Let's just dodge it, yeah? Let's just dodge it. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, let's do this the other way. I hear let's you. draw them out.
Oh, come now. Oh, 33 hit. Man, that matters because now Zephyr can hit number 3. Oh, I need to change frames class. No more experience for her. Okay, we'll start to come from the bottom now. Take out that back one. Damn, it doesn't kill. Okay, maybe something will happen. No, that's fine. I think. <laughs> Here, sword that nobody can use. Pretty sure nobody can use anyway. Let's go here. Get the ball out. Got you back. No 
what I call Tensia. Okay, we're into the end game now. Second Astra Storm, I go. I kind of want to use the warp and just send everyone there. I think that's what I'm going to do. ones like that they can deal with that. The other one's new. Okay, let's 
Let's do this. A little help, please. Great walk, yeah. Tell the boss to the visa. Let's get everyone here. Also got Huawei. Huh? <laughs> 
Okay, now it's time for a real show to start. Okay, so you can sit there. Mine. Vale is. Give her back. I am Vale. And I'll prove it here and now by destroying you. A worm! I had to stop you. Okay. One down, three to go. Thing to do is to 
go this one and then get that. Expect that gold platform thing here. You're done for! Die already! For Alusia! Alright, I'll wear. Finish the job. A hot to be puncher. Yeah, it's too likely. Right? Yeah, let's punch. Ah, uh, it's more symbolic to do it with the liberation. Getting early. There's a lot of story here, so I'm just gonna go on mute now and we'll try and fly through it. Changing back wasn't supposed to be possible. <sighs> the enchanted helmet. It's correct. Marnie's attack worked? Marnie. Such bravery. Where are we? Lethos Castle. You've been under Zephyr's control. My head hurts really bad. And wait a second. What am I wearing? Where did I get this ring? This is yours, right? I remember. We were near the cathedral. You said it was important to you. Here. Please. Take this. Thank you, Vale. I will not allow it. <sighs> Heed me well, O oh defective daughter of mine. Papa. My goal is so close I can taste it, but their kindness makes you weak. Now go and reclaim my emblem rings at once. I won't! So I see. That is a shame. Well then, there is nothing more you can do for me. And I have never been in the habit of keeping that which has no value. From this moment, this time, your defeat is final. Why did you do that? You shouldn't have jumped in front of me! I did what I had to do to keep you out of harm's way. I wanted to make up for all the times I couldn't protect you. All the times I wasn't there for you. For all those awful things I said. I don't care. I don't care about that. Please don't die. It'll be all right. There's still so much I have to do. I can't die until I've told you everything. There's still too much left unsaid. Who I am. Listen, Bill. I'm your. No. 
nothing to stand in my way. The divine dragon is gone. That I should see this day. But how? How could this? Wait, the dragon stone. Another of my children, the one you've been searching for all this time, your sister. <laughs> the Divine Dragon took the traitor in after the events of the last war. Thus, the fool did survive. No child of mine should live as a Divine Dragon. Death was this one's inexorable fate. No, but the stone shouldn't break. Stone shouldn't shatter unless. All that time, you were my sister. I found you. I finally found you. Please don't be gone. I need to talk to you. I don't understand why you would sacrifice yourself for me. <laughs> Such pathetic children. All twelve of the rings are finally in my possession. Impossible. Gradlon. Restored. Papa, where are you going? You've destroyed everything. You killed your own child. This is what you wanted? Looks like it's over for you all, hmm? Sephia! Lady Defect. You survived here only because of all those who came to your aid. What a shame. Because now it's time for you to say farewell. Farewell? <laughs> My head! Lady Vale! I don't want her to have control. But Marnie broke the helmet. Oh, Mavia. Simple, simple Mavia. It was only cracked. That certainly weakened it. But with Lord Sombron's elevation to power, the helmet works far better than before. <gasps> Lady Vale, come on out. Join us, if you would. <laughs> no! Father! <laughs> what power! You've finally done it. I wanted to kill the Divine Dragon myself, but... Oh well. 
Lady Vale. Lord Sombron will gladly welcome you as his daughter now. Good to see you back. Would have had to kill you otherwise. Zephia, Gris, return to father. I'll catch up with you soon. Of course. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. As for all of you, death is inevitable. But I'd like this mess dealt with now. Clean this up for me. Leave no one alive. The Corrupted! And more than we can handle on our own. We don't even have our rings! Rings? They'd be useless to you. The Divine Dragon is dead. None of you have the ability to summon emblems. This is the end. We have no way out. So, who wants to die first? There's no need for any of you to squirm or struggle. You're all about to join your beloved Divine Dragon. Are we all going to die here? There must be something we can do! Please! Must have died protecting Vale. There's no waking up again this time. I had dreamed I would awaken as a hero. Only now I realize that did happen. But it's too late. I wonder if I'll be able to find Mother here. Mother? Hmm. Vale? Why are you here? Papa used the rings to raise Gradlon. The helmet reactivated. My head began to swim. And then... I was here. Things didn't go how I wanted them to. And now it seems I've died. <gasps> Papa said you're my big sister. You gave your life to protect me. I'm so sorry. You should have let me die. Don't say that. I made the right choice. 
You have a link back home. There's still a chance for you. No. No more. What? I tried so hard. I wanted Papa to look at me and not see a defect. I wanted him to forget about the other worlds and just be with me. I'd always think... If only I tried harder, but it never mattered. I kept getting crushed over and over. I'm so tired. If I have to die again and fail once more, I'd rather it just end here. With you. Oh, Bail. Hey, why don't we fall asleep together? The world will end with or without us. And I feel happy because I finally found you. Maybe the others will join us eventually. Perhaps you're right. Well then... Except... I'm not ready to give up. I want to save our world. And everyone I care about. Bail. You have been through so much. And I understand why you feel the way you do. But please don't give up. Not before you experience the life you deserve. I don't care anymore. Even if I returned and survived all of it, I can't stop Papa because I can't summon emblems. All I can do is create the Corrupted. A fallibility befitting a fell dragon. Corrupted? Veil. Vale. There is something you can do. Huh? Revive me as one of the Corrupted. What? You did it to King Hyacinth. It was as if he'd come back to life, returned to himself. Perhaps I could go back to the living world in the same way. Maybe, but you aren't thinking this through. You hate the Corrupted. They terrify you. Now you want to be one? If we do that, you'll never be able to change back. This way, at least you died as yourself. Would you really want to die as one of them? I'll sacrifice more than that if it saves everyone. How I die doesn't matter. I just want to end this war, however I can. <sighs> Please don't give up, Vale. If we don't try, we lose everything. To me, this is the only way forward. But... Vale, what do you live for? What do you mean? My friends told me it doesn't matter where you're from. What's important is how you live. How you live and what you do shapes your future. So, who do you want to become? I've never thought about that. But if it were possible for me to change now, I suppose... I'd want to be like you. I'd want to become a dragon who saves the world. They really are siblings. Hmm? They said something very similar. A long time ago. Let's go back and save our world. Together. All right. I'll give it one last try. I hope to see you soon, sister. You're my dear sister, and I trust you with all of my heart. <laughs> Stop, Fale. You die either way. Lady Vale, please, come back to us. Oh, you miss her, Mavir? Then I'll kill you first. Maybe you'll find what you're after on the other side. <sighs> Huh? Uh, Lady Vale? You don't know when to give up, do you? That's right! I'm not going quietly! She's talking to herself. Not herself, exactly. The true Lady Vale. She's fighting back. I know that. My sister believed in me. So I... I believe in myself! Shut your mouth! You are nothing but a defect! Mark my words, you quivering little baby. You're gonna be dead soon! No! I won't! You're not in control here, I am! And I won't wear this horrible thing anymore! Wait! There's already a crack in it. I'll break it! Then I get to be me again! You'll be gone! Stop! Stop it right now! 
has become corrupted. What are we supposed to do now? Fight? No. We can't. Please, everyone, listen. You can speak? There's nothing to fear. I won't hurt you. I asked Vale to revive me as one of the corrupted. You must believe me. Are you really you? Yes. I'm the same person who took this journey with you. The Divine Dragon. Whatever form I take, this soul is still mine. Sister, look what I found. The Ring of the Hero King. It was lying by your side, as though it wanted to be with you. The emblems and the Twelve Rings have played their roles. They are likely drained of power. Can you still summon them? You've done so much today. Now, it's my turn. All right. Marth, I've returned. I'm here for you. Please show yourself. Showing on emblem of beginnings. <sighs> Nothing happened. <laughs> no. This has to work. We have so much to protect. Please, Marth, join me once more. Shine on, emblem of beginnings! Marth, I'm so happy to see you! <sighs> what? That's the Bell Dragon version! I used Bell Dragon power to raise my sister. She's using that same power to summon. <laughs> Are they reacting to the emblem? Time is short. I'll need your help to summon all the emblems again. You don't have to trust me. But this is the only way. We must stand together and fight as one. All right, straight into another chapter um, with no emblems. This is a pretty tricky one, but you will have to stay tuned for next time to see how this one concludes. So thanks for tuning in and uh, yeah, see you on the next episode.